Well, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, we'd appreciate you going immediately and hitting that subscribe button. But anyway, this is a quick video on this 1910 ESP Rockwood pop-up camper. The outdoor shower. Okay, the issue I had is the hose, got a red wasp flying around here. Go away wasp. But anyway, the hose that came with it just deteriorated. And it was one of those quick connects. This is the fitting that was actually here. And I tried some of the quick connects that I had. I actually had tried this is a water line blowout. This air connection is not watertight when you put it in the quick connect that came with the faucet on the camper. So that didn't work, it leaked. Uh, I bought some of these quick connects. And the, here I got one on here. That does not fit in there, okay? So this hose here, I found, actually my wife found it at Aldi's. Really heavy, shiny hose. And it comes with this twist faucet. Looks to be made pretty well. I think it's gonna hold up a long time. And I did put a, a quick connect in there because Oh, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. What I did is I removed their quick connect fitting. It just unscrews. Okay, and I went to the hardware store and I got a uh, this half inch thread back there and then a three quarter uh, water hose fitting tread. So I got one here. I can show you. It's threaded on the inside that screws on to the factory threads where I removed this. So you put some plumber's tape on the thread, screw that on, and then I went ahead and put some more plumber's tape on this side, and a regular water hose will hook up to that now. You don't have to worry about having the right fitting to go in your quick connect. And if you want a quick connect, you can Put one of these on there and you know you'll have a quick connect but you can't shut the door with it on there and the quick connect thing is not a big deal to me now I have this and this nozzle will work fine for a shower but I prefer the old one that we had before we used this one before we got the pop-up and it's a simple on off switch and it's just automatic shower. So I, I like this nozzle better than fighting with that one, twisting it and all that. So I'm going to take this one off and just attach this one to the end of this one. And it'll give me some longer hose. That's 35 feet of hose. And that'll add three more feet. And we just ordered a two-room shower tent to set beside the pop-up. So there's plenty of room there. There are plenty of hose there to reach up in there uh, without causing any issues and if I want to go under the camper to the other side I could also do that but I'm I'm happier with it just being a regular water hose fitting you know I've always got water hoses with me when I'm camping and if I need to move some water quite a ways off I can use my regular water hoses on this outdoor uh, shower now too so uh, this quick connect feature just isn't a big deal to me. At first I looked for another quick connect that might fit on there and I could just use airline quick connects. And I got tired of trying to piece stuff together when I could go to the hardware store and get one of these $2 fittings, put it on there. And now any water hose can hook up to that. So uh, that's what I'm, I'm going to do. So let me get this piece together and I'll show you how I'm going to use it. 
Okay, so I removed the nozzle that came with this hose from Aldi's. And I think this was like $10.99. It was under $15. Uh, and like I said, I tried it and it works, but it's n I don't want to fiddle when I'm in the shower tent trying to shut this off and turn it back on. Because you turn it on, get wet, turn it off, soap up, turn it back on to rinse off. That way you're conserving water, especially if you're dispersed camping and you're using your water tank. This one is a simple on off. It automatically has the shower pattern. That one you have to twist it till you get to the shower pattern you want. This one's automatic and it's simple on off switch. So you would adjust your water temperature where you want before you get in the shower. And I would already have this strung to the shower tent. But as you see, it's a simple on. Simple off. Getting wet. Soaping up. Rinsing off. Turn it off. And before you are completely done, go ahead and turn your water off at the faucets.